So we've done a whole mini series on both teams to score betting, looking at which leagues we should be betting on, pre-game and in-game factors, and when to place your bets. But in this video, we're going to look at the over and under goals market. Along with outright winner and both teams to score, over and under goals market are one of the most popular markets on betting websites. The most common split offered by bookmakers is over and under 2.5 goals. If you bet the under, you're looking for these goal combinations in a game. And if you bet the over, you're looking for all the other combinations. Like both teams to score, the odds offered for a particular game for over or under 2.5 goals will very much depend on the league you're looking at and the teams involved. If you missed our league analysis on the both teams to score, which is relevant for over and under 2.5 goals, then please check out part one of the both teams to score mini series. So you've decided to get into the overs, unders markets in games and you head over to the betting website that you use, whichever of the bookmakers you use, and you go over to the goals section to bet on the number of goals in the game. And what do you always see in almost every game? You will see that the over under 2.5 goals market is highlighted separately. It's almost like the bookmakers are encouraging you to bet on that market specifically. And there's a reason for that. If you play in the over under 2.5 goals market, you will lose in the long run. Already the odds are structured in a way that give the bookmakers an advantage. But even more than that, what makes this a losing market in the long run, specifically under and over 2.5 goals, is the fact that football is an unpredictable game, like I've covered in so many other videos. All it takes is for one person to make a mistake or someone to give away a penalty when it's 1-1 and you've bet the under 2.5 goals market, and then your bet is going to be ruined. Or let's say, on the other hand, you've bet over 2.5 goals in a game, two attacking teams and you're expecting lots of goals in the game and the score is 1-1 and suddenly they revert both of them to a cautious playing style because they don't want to lose the game and the game ends in a 1-1 draw because both of them just don't have the attacking threat in the last 15, 20 minutes of a game. So that 2.5 range for that's been given by the bookmakers is you know, very clever of them to do given you know, years and years of analysis on how games end, but for me and my recommendation for you is to actually stay away from over and under 2.5 goals. For this reason, you've got to beat the bookmakers at their own game and get an extra level of insurance by instead taking the over 1.5 market where you think there will be goals in the game and the under 3.5 goals market where you think it will be a low scoring game. By taking over 1.5 goals, you open up these possibilities and by taking the under 3.5, you open up these possibilities. By adopting this approach, you are protecting yourself from the unpredictability of football. Now, of course, the odds that you're going to get on the over 1.5 and under 3.5 are going to be worse than the over under 2.5 market. But let's look at an example. Let's say the lines for an upcoming game uh, for over 2.5 goals in a game is 1.7. So that's the odds that are being offered by the bookmakers. If you convert that into a percentage of probability, the bookmakers are basically saying there is a 57% probability of over 2.5 goals occurring in this game. Let's say you've done your own analysis, maybe using the Poisson distribution like we've spoken about uh, in another video to calculate the expected goals for an up upcoming game. And your probability of over 2.5% goals is 65%. So you back the game, let's say you put a hundred pound bet on the game uh, to return 70 pounds profit, and it ends up 1-1 one, one, under 2.5 goals and you lose all of your hundred pounds initial stake. Then we have another two games which we're looking at, which we think will also be high scoring. And the odds offered for over 1.5 goals is 1.25. Let's say it's 1.25 for both of them. That means the bookmakers think there's an 80% probability of there being over 1.5 goals in this game or in both games. Your own calculations have both games ending over 1.5 goals at 88%. So, Obviously here it's a value bet, so you would want to back it because your own probability is higher than uh, what the bookmakers have calculated. 
So let's go back to that first scenario where we just bet on the one game at over 2.5 goals. The expected profit of a bet of 100 pounds is 35% chance of uh, you losing your initial stake of 100 pounds and then 65% chance of you making 170 pounds, including your initial stake. And that will leave you with profit of 10 pounds, 50 pence. That's the expected value of the bet. If you run this bet a million times, in the long run, you will have a million times 10 pounds. So you're in profit, uh, but what I'm gonna show you in the second scenario is that you can ensure yourself a little better by backing two games at lower odds with higher probability. So here, in the second scenario, the expected profit of a bet of 100 pounds on a double, so betting in a mini accumulator, two games, both of them to finish over 1.5 goals at odds of 1.25 each. The double comes to odds of 1.56. So you bet 100 pounds on the double, there is a 22.56% chance that you lose your 100 pounds, and there is a 77.44% chance that you make 56 pounds profit. And the net of those results in 20 pounds and 80 pence profit. So a much higher expected value of profit in this second scenario compared to the first scenario. Uh, and just to explain, the 77.4% chance there is obtained by multiplying 88% by 88%. So the odds of 1.5 goals occurring in both games. So this whole strategy focuses on the, the concept or the principle of combining safe picks into doubles to eliminate the unpredictability in football. So we're still achieving a decent return by combining it into a double. Obviously you take some extra risk on by doing it, but by going for those kind of safer picks, the over 1.5 goals and under 3.5 goals, we can eliminate the unpredictability in football, those silly penalties that give away silly own goals, and we can increase the expected value on our bets. Too often we focus on the returns without looking at the other side of a bet. And unfortunately, we have to admit it all, the other side of a bet is losing, and that's losing our initial stake, which can be big losses. So we want to try and protect our kind of bank as much as possible. And sometimes it is smarter to take two kind of more certain picks rather than throw a bit of a gamble and, and go for the over or under 2.5 goals and risk it on one game. Better to go for two games over 1.5 goals. With this approach, you'll end up having a higher hit rate and end up making more money in the long run. Like we saw in those two examples, scenario two generated more expected value. So in the long run, you will make more money. So in summary, avoid the over under 2.5 goals market and look at how you can use over 1.5 goals and under 3.5 goals to maximize your returns. Guys, thank you so much for your support. Uh, we've finally crossed, I think now 3000 subscribers. Very much like to say thank you to everyone who's supported me from the very first subscriber to the very last. Uh, all the comments and the likes are, are very much appreciated. If you did like this video as well, please drop a like. Uh, you know, it kind of, you know it, how it is with all the other YouTubers. It help, helps raise us through the algorithms and get us noticed more and, and get more views so we, I can keep bringing you more content like this. Guys, I'm pleased to announce as well that we now have a dedicated Football Bank Telegram channel. In the channel, I will post the picks as and when I make them. There's a £25 entry fee to the channel and that will be open for the remainder of the 2022-2023 season. The £25 will be well worth the investment as you'll see by the returns that we'll make in the chat together. If you want to join, the instructions will be in the description of this video and they'll also be available on Instagram. So I look forward to seeing you in the group chat and hopefully we'll make lots of money together. Until next time, goodbye.